write a native tune assembly language program for searching for an alphabet in an array up to 26 locations we have to store instead of that we thought of writing a program right thought of writing a program to fill the memory location with the ascii equivalent of the alphabets that means 41 to 5a how to write a simple loop program in such a way that from the 20th memory location to um, 26 that is another 26 memory location why don't you fill with 41 42 43 44 45 46 up to 5a which is a ascii equivalent of that is hexadecimal equivalent of the ascii numbers capital a to capital z something like that this is the program which can do that kindly look at it here you can see assembly language program to store alpha all alphabets in the data memory locations as usual the beginning of the program now every player sully for roman mari org 0000 fetching the player sully so as usual r naught is acting as a pointer where the data memory location 20 is the starting location for the alphabets and uh, how many characters 26 characters so i have not given 0x look at the screen look at the cursor if i put 0x it will become hexadecimal 26 if i put h it will become hexadecimal 26 there is a possibility for us to write just like the 26 so it is up to the assemblers uh, risk to convert this 26 into its hexadecimal equivalent okay so i have 26 alphabets hence i have written as 20 26 which is r to counter okay so 26 starting from 20 up to 26 locations we have to fill the data something like that so r naught is a pointer r2 is a counter so what we are doing here to the 50th memory location In the 50th memory location we are moving the ascii equivalent of the capital a which is 0x41 okay so 41 is moved immediately to the data memory location 50 okay 41 is an immediate constant which is moved to the data memory location 50 and then this 50 data memory location is moved to the register r1 where r1 is the register r1 which can be used as a counter for filling the data that you will be observing soon now it is very interesting you see indirect addressing right through indirect addressing based data transfer instruction so all our data transfer instruction you see mov 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 so what data transfer is going to happen here move the content of the data memory location 50 the 50 the data memory location contains something what is that something capital a hexadecimal equivalent of capital a which is 41 so move this 41 which is direct addressing right because it is direct addressing don't move 50 to r naught because it is direct addressing 50 is the data memory location in 50 what is there in 50 we have the ascii equivalent of capital a which is 0x41 move this 41 go to the 50th location in this 50th location we have 41 copy this 41 and paste it into the memory location pointed by r naught r naught is pointing 20th memory location so go to the 20th memory location and then paste the value which is copied from the 50th memory location so control c is happening in 50th memory location control v is happening in 20th memory location so this is something like copying a folder from one drive to another drive internally in the assembly level it will happen similarly in the machine language level it will happen like this only this you can celebrate right so whenever you do control c control v something like this will happen so control c from 50 control v into the 20th memory location okay anyway the 20th memory location will be loaded with 41 because the current of the data memory location 50 is also 41 which is the ascii equivalent of the capital letter a very nice after that what we are supposed to do we have to increment this uh, pointer we have to go to 21 and then we have to store b before that we have to increment the current of the 50 50th memory location because this is capital a then 42 we have to may increment the 50th memory location content which is 42 so there are instructions to increment the 50th memory location content which is 52 then this increment uh, 50h that is increment r naught r naught is incrementing means we are incrementing the pointer to store the next alphabets and incrementing the 50th memory location so the current of the 50th memory location will get incremented current of the 50th memory location is what 41 it will get incremented to 42 which is as key current of b then 
the loop counter, right? R2 has to be decremented. If the R2 is not equal to zero, we have to repeat the same, right? Decrement jump not zero R2, and then jump to loop one. Now what happened? R2 will become 25, and then it is not zero. It is coming here, and again moving the current of the data memory location 50 to the memory location pointed by R0. Now the 50 contains 42 because you have incremented the 50 memory memory location. So 42 is equal to capital B as key. So that will be moved to 21st memory location. This will continue for 26 times. So all the alphabets will be filled from 20 through um, 3A kind of things. Okay. Very nice. That's all. So all A to Z will be filled in the data memory location 20. That's all. Okay. Let us simulate this uh, ADFQ and assembly language program for filling this alphabets in an array. So this is the program to fill the same program to fill the alphabets, 26 alphabets in the corresponding memory locations. I'm doing the single step execution. R0 is loaded with 20. Yes, R0 is loaded with 20. Then R2 is loaded with 26. R2 is loaded with 26. So the hexadecimal equivalent of 26 is 1A. OK. Then uh, 41 is moved to the 50th data memory location. So we have 50 data time location. Yes, here we have 50 data time location. 50 data time location is here moving 41. Let me do the single step. Yes, in the 50 data time locations, we have 41. And uh, move 50 H, comma R1. So R1 is 0, 0. The content of the memory location 50. This is very interesting. The content of the memory location 50 is moved to the registered R1. Okay, because it is not immediate addressing. So 50 will not move to R1 because it is direct addressing. So what is the current of 50th memory location? Current of the 50th data memory location is 41. This 41 will be moved from this 50th memory location to the register R1 after executing this line. Let me execute this. So the 41, so 50th memory location contains 41. That 41 has reached this register R1 after executing this line. Now our interest is to copy and paste from the 50th memory location to memory location pointed by R0. The 50th memory location as we know very well it is 41. So 41 is copied here then pasted into the memory location pointed by R0. R0 is pointing 20 so it will go to the 20 and then paste it. Yes now it is 20. Now I am going to execute this instruction. We are expecting 41 in the 20th memory location. Yes, 41 is there in the 20th memory location. Now what happens? R0 need to be incremented. Yes, the pointer need to be incremented. Yes, pointer has incremented 2021. And the content of the data memory location 50 need to be incremented. So content of the data memory location 50. You can see content of the data memory location 50 need to be incremented. Another data memory location 50 is 41. After executing this instruction, increment 50. We can see in the 50th location it has become 42. 41 earlier it was 41, now it has become 42. Decrement jump not 0, R2, comma, loop 1. R2 is 26, that is 1A. It will become 1, 9. And because it is not 0, it will come back to loop 1. Yes. Yes, it is 1, 9. Programming should come back to loop 1. Now we are in this very interesting, right? Then under 50th memory location is what? 52. 42, 42. This 42 will move to the data memory location pointed by R0. R0 is pointing 21. So 21 will be loaded with 42. Very nice. And this repeats, right? Then it will become 22. Then the current of the memory location will be incremented to 50. The 50th memory location, it will be incremented and then it will become 43. And this R2 will get repeated. It will become 18. Now you can see. 41, 42, 43, 43. Well, just like that will get filled, you can see. 43, 44, 45, 46. Loop is continuously executing, right? You can see. Loop is keep on executing. I can show you. See? It's getting filled, right? 4A, 4B, 4C. 4B, 4E. Up to 5A, there are 26 characters, right? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. But all this 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 5, yeah. 
So now R naught has become R two is one now. You can see R two is one. Now incrementing R naught R two decrement and if it is not zero, it will halt. Okay, that's all. Now from twenty number location to thirty nine. The sequence of data has been filled. Some for the one to five a. We are very much interested to see the ASCII equivalent of this. There is a possibility for us to see the ASCII equivalent by right-clicking your mouse in the place, and then if you new click ASCII, so you can able to see the ASCII equivalent of these numbers, forty one to forty. So in the twenty five location, this capital A, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T. Wow, fantastic. What is its hexadecimal equivalent? Its hexadecimal equivalent is forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. What what is this ASCII equivalent? Its ASCII equivalent is capital A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T. Wow! So this is how our computer works. If you are having MS Word file, if you are having Excel file, behind the screen, the numbers as like this, right? In the twentieth memory location, we have only Numbers like this, but this scale IDE helps the user to view this 41 as uppercase letter A. View this 41 as uppercase letter A, as we see here. This is very interesting. This is our MS Word file, Microsoft Office Word file. Copies the zeros and ones from the hard disk. That is 41 from the hard disk, and then it displays capital A in the MS Word file. Much more better. Even ID between itself is capable of doing this much means. Our operating system can do much more. Anyway, I am going to find out whether the H is available in this array or R is available in this array. That is my interest. But I am filling this alphabets in the memory location. Yes, alphabets are filled. That is my first job, which is being done. Now we are going to do the next job. What is our next job? Writing the code for searching for a number in an array. Searching for an alphabet in an array. Let us see this. So anyway, we have simulated the Egyptian assembly language program for filling the alphabets in an array using KLIDE, which is satisfied. Now our interest is to write an Egyptian assembly language program for searching for an alphabet in an array. How to search for an alphabet? As usual, the counter R3 is cleared. After that, starting address of an array is 20, which is the R0 is acting as a pointer, and R2 is 26. And we are comparing the content of the memory location pointed by R naught with the immediate constant 41, assuming that we are searching for A. And then, if it is not equal, we can jump to loop two. If it is equal, you have to increment the register R three. Else, you have to increment R naught, and then we have to increment, we have to decrement uh, R two. Increment R naught, decrement R two, and if it is not zero, jump to loop three. Increment R naught, decrement R two. If not zero, jump to loop three. Repeat this 26 times because R two is 26. Until R two becomes zero, this loop three will get repeated. So loop three will gets repeated 26 times. So this is how we have to write the loop. When you write a for loop, it will become assembly language like this, and then that will become machine language like this, and then it will go on. Once done. The R3 contains how many matches? That will be moved to some data memory location 50 or somewhere, and then you are stopping the program. That's all. Very simple. Let us check this in the KLIDE. So simulation of KLIDE in assembly language program for searching for an alphabet in an array using KLIDE, which is much more interesting, right? While executing this segment, the memory location 20 to 26 locations, it will be filled with A to Z. It will execute all this and then fill this. A B C D, right? Let us do this. We can see twenty A B C D E F G H I J. Look at the screen. Look at the cursor. M N O P Q R S T U V W magnifier is blocking. X Y Z. Fill that. We can see program execution came here. Again, R3 is loaded with zero. R0 is loaded with 20. R2 is loaded with 26. You are checking for only A. So 41 is A. Yes. Now it matches, right? Because the content of the memory location pointed by R0 is capital A, which is 41, right? 
and we see here right i'm saying the character means it is 41 we're checking for the same 41 here so it matches so it will never jump to loop 2 it will never jump to loop 2 it will uh, come down and increment r3 right because you are checking for 41 which is capital a so it will come down and increment r3 and then rest of the time it know nothing will match so 26 comparisons then program execution stops and r3 contains one in the 50th moment location we have one because there is only one match because we are viewing it in the ascii format we are not able to see but we are interested to see unsigned character in the 50th moment location we have In the 50th mode location, we, have the, we should have the current of R3. Should have the current of R3. And then we can see the current of the mode location R3. is 50th mode location, we have large one match. Okay. Now, what we are interested to do is, we are going to do some more uh, thing. So, the same, same numbers A can be loaded somewhere in so many places, right? So what we can do is now we reset and run this code up to this breakpoint. So when we run up to this breakpoint, right, it was loaded with A, B, C, D, Z. Now we are changing this. What to be changed? A, I, I am adding this A by replacing Z. Here on A, another capital A. Because it is small A means it is 61. Capital A only, it is capital 41. Now there are two A's. Here on A, here on A. So the count in the 50th mode location should be 2. That means the current of R3 should be 50. So here R3 we have to clear, right? So R3 has to be clear, right? R3 was cleared. Now we are running this code and then stopping. R3 shows 2. So 50th mode locations will have also 2. Decimal, that's not decimal. Actually, it is unsigned character. 50th member location, we have C, two matches because the 41 is in 39th member location. Here you are comparing with 41. This 41 is in 39th member location, which is capital A, and this 41 is in 20th member location, that is also capital A. How to show this as key? So here is one A, here is one A. Somewhere in between. I'm adding one more A. This we have to add not after uh, resetting, running up to this decimal point. Now it will be replaced because the above code will run and then replace with A to Z. After running this code while executing here only, we have to do this A. Now two, somewhere here A, three, somewhere here A, four, somewhere here A, five, somewhere here A, six, somewhere here a7 somewhere here a8 somewhere here a9 so i have entered nine yes and let me run and stop you can see r3 shows nine data map location 50 will show nine that means 941 are available here you can see one two three see one two three four five six seven eight nine Fantastic. That's all. Alphabets can also be searched. Numbers can also be searched. Like this, all the search engine in our MS Word, in our Google. So in your file, if you want to search, it will search for the entire file. In the folder, if you are searching for some alphabets, that is also happening. In the cloud, if you want to search, Google does this. So are you searching in the cloud? Are you searching in the folder? Are you searching in the file? The concept remains same. It will check only it will compare only the corresponding ASCII equivalence that you need to understand. It will compare only the ASCII equivalence of the corresponding alphabets. So there is nothing like A, B, C, D, E, F. All are binary numbers which are stored in hexadecimal in the data memory. That is the moral of the story.